Next, let's talk about setting up the template. Templates are great, but you need to make a template your own before you begin working on it. In this section, we'll walk you through the template setup process so that you can customize it to fit your needs. Let's start by creating an editorial calendar. You'll notice for each of the lists, which represent different content types, you actually have a calendar view already added for you. This is gonna allow you to manage the editorial calendar across each content type individually. You'll also have a calendar at the folder level. So this way we're looking at things at a higher level. We can actually track all of our content across all of our calendars simultaneously. But this can get a little messy. And so let's talk about how we can customize these calendars to really create an editorial calendar. First, you'll wanna start by creating date custom fields. Date custom fields are going to allow you to track different dates as they relate to different aspects of the development schedule or publishing schedule. To start, I've gone ahead and created a date custom field called publish date. This is a date that I'm going to use to track when content is actually published. To utilize this date custom field, all I need to do is go to the show tab. And from here, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn off start and due date. And I'm going to choose date custom field here. And I'm going to toggle on the publish date. So now I get a clear picture of all of the different content and when that content is published. The other thing I can do here is utilize some of the color settings. By default, your tasks may be colored by status, but you can color them by the list they're on, or you can color them by a custom field like the marketing task type. This allows you to add extra context. And speaking of context, if I go down to the bottom here, you'll see this is where I can indicate all of the fields or data points that I want to be showing in each task. I can choose things like assignee and priority or even time estimate, but going down further, you'll see that I also have the ability to add custom fields here. So if there are specific custom fields that you need to track as a part of your publishing schedule or as a part of your editorial calendar, you can incorporate those as well. Next, let's talk about how we can create a task template that we apply to each new task that gets submitted via our intake process. For this task template, what I think I'd like to focus on is our blog content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first go to the blog list here. In the blog list, you'll notice that I've got a bunch of different tasks in different stages of development. And I've got a couple of tasks here that are already in review, which means that they've probably already gone through some form of development, and maybe we've actually already tracked some of that development. And in this template, these tasks are already pre-built for us. So here you can see I've got a number of subtasks that I could actually use as the template for creating a new blog. We've got researching an outline, writing, and then review and editing. Relatively simple, but a nice way to get started. I like the way that those subtasks look. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, click the ellipses, I'm gonna choose the template center here and save this as a template. Now, one thing to be aware of when you are saving templates, I would recommend not importing everything, but actually taking the time to customize the including items. I'm actually going to deselect everything here except for our subtasks. The reason being that I really just wanna use that subtask structure for these blog posts. I'm going to enter a template name. It's just called blog task template. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. The next step I'd like to do here is to actually add an automation so that when I do create a new blog task, that template is automatically applied. Let's go ahead and come back to our incoming request list. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go to our automations. I'm going to add a new automation. So this automation, what I'm gonna set up is anytime a task is created, and let's say that task is created by the form, I want that task to apply a template. And I want that template to be our new blog task template that we just created. Now this would create a task 
for any task that's submitted. But in this situation, I actually want to focus on just the blocks. So I'm also going to go ahead and add a condition here. And what we want to do is set it so that anytime the custom field is equal to, and let's choose that custom field of channel because this can be updated as a part of that form. So anytime somebody submits that form and indicates that it's going to be a blog post, let's go ahead and apply that blog task template. If this all looks good, I can go ahead and hit create. Speaking of automations, there's a couple of other automations that come pre-built in this template, but you do want to make sure that you've gone through, evaluated, and updated those automations. So to start, we've got some automations here based off of the custom field. And what these automations are going to do is, as you're evaluating and getting ready to assign these tasks out to your team, you may want to actually identify what the task type is. And then based off of that task type that you've identified, you can actually move that task to the list where the team would actually be able to work on that specific task. So to show you how this is going to work, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check on these four automations that have already been added for you. These are custom field automations. So this is gonna tell me when the custom field changes, and this is marketing task type from any to website, we wanna make sure that we are moving that task to the website list. So we just wanna make sure that we've done this across all of our different task types. These are pre-built in the template, but you may wanna make sure that they've been updated. You can see that in this automation has already been added, but some of the details are missing. Here, we wanna move these tasks to the blog list. So let's go ahead and choose custom field changes, marketing task type from any, to let's say blog, let's just go ahead and click save. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've done that across each of these separate automations. Finally, I wanted to call out how to track project spending with a formula field. First, navigate to the list view within the content management folder and add a formula field called budget remaining. Set budget as the first value, spend as the second, and select subtraction as the operator. Click calculate once done. Now that I've shown you how to set up the template, if you haven't already, take some time, walk through this process, and make sure that you've customized this template so that the workflow is ready to use.